I hope you're all really well today. If things look a little bit different, it's because I'm in my hotel in New York. I'm currently here with Tresemme for Fashion Week, so things are pretty hectic at the moment, but I wanted to film a quick haul for you guys. I'm gonna do this in two parts. I'm gonna do a clothing part and an accessory part. So this part is the accessory part. I just wanted to show you some shoes and accessories that I got just before Fashion Week. I've never really done fashion on my channel and I'm a little bit worried about it because I'm not the most fashionable person, but hey, I might as well give it a go. So first up, let's talk about shoes. Shoes is the one thing that I love. I'm not the biggest dresser upper, like I'm gonna wear dresses and stuff for Fashion Week, but in my normal life, I don't wear very dressy, dressy clothes a lot. I'm a very jeans and t-shirt kind of girl, but the one thing that I do absolutely love is heels. So. I just, when I get new shoes, it's like, oh, the best feeling ever. So the first pair I want to show you are these stilettos from Tony Bianco. They're a pointy toe at the front, they're black leather. They have a crisscross strap at the front, and that is the heel there. Pointy toed high heel stilettos are so in right now. Everyone is wearing them absolutely everywhere. They've been in for quite a while, but it feels like everyone is wearing them right now. And this style is called Lopez, I believe, from Tony Bianco. I love Tony Bianco shoes. Great, great quality for the price. They're not quite designer price, but you get amazing quality. And I just love this style. I'll wear this style with ripped jeans, but I'll also wear it with like a really fancy dress. So I just feel like it's an amazing shoe to have. And most of the shoes I buy are black as well. It's just so handy to have lots of black shoes in different styles. I just love the color black as well, I wear a lot of black. The next shoes are another black pair and these are just a simple strappy pair from Windsor Smith. They just have a simple strap across the toes and then a little strap around the ankles. I feel like this style of shoe is essential in any girl's wardrobe. Again, you can wear this with ripped jeans or a dress, you can wear it with absolutely anything and it's going to look amazing. It's just such a simple classic looking shoe and you will always look chic and put together in a shoe like this. These ones are from Windsor Smith. I'm not quite sure of the name of them but that's the style and I will try and link it in the description box below. Again black leather because it just goes with everything. The next pair are a pair of boots. I am a big boots girl. Heeled boots are one of my things. I just love boots and this pair in particular are so cool. I feel like this is a really good transitional piece to take us from winter to spring in Australia. You can wear boots like this with shorts but you can also wear them with jeans and dresses and all of that and it's still not too too summery. And I feel like they kind of dress up an outfit rather than wearing like flip flops or sandals. I feel like it gives a nice kind of rock chick edge, I guess. I love these with denim shorts. I love them with ripped jeans. They look amazing. I love this kind of buckle detailing on the side. I love the height of the heel. I find shoes that are too flat actually hurt my back. So when I have a little heel like this, it is so, so comfortable. I love it. These are called Frenchie. I think they're from Tony Bianco and I'm just obsessed. I cannot wait to wear these. Look at those buckles. Oh, I love them. Yeah, so they're called the Frenchie and they're from Tony Bianco as well. Again, black leather because I'm obsessed and amazing quality from Tony Bianco. The last pair of shoes I want to show you are these pair from Windsor Smith. These are a beige suede pair with heaps of straps that go up around the ankles and these are in the style called Crazy, I believe, with an IE, not a Y on the end. It's very hard to show these unless they're on the foot, so I will insert a cutaway now so you can really see what they look like. I am obsessed with this shoe. It is so beautiful. Again, just like black, the beige will go with everything and these kind of strappy heels are so in right now. Honestly, again, whether it's with jeans or a dress, they just go with everything. And the beige is a great colour just to brighten up your look for this spring ahead if you are an Australian dweller like myself. So these are from Windsor Smith, absolutely obsessed with them and they're going to match so many outfits for me for fashion week. I have a lot of like greens and khakis and stuff like that and this colour with green and khaki looks amazing. So if you can get your hands on these, do. They're actually super comfy as well. They really 
hug the foot. I feel like there's a lot of stability and a lot of support in them, which you wouldn't think. So yeah, absolutely love these so much. Next up is a watch. I have showed this on Instagram and also in my New York vlogs, but I just wanted to show it here again. This is a black leather strapped watch from Christian Paul and the face has like black and white marble in it. I think this is such a cool piece. I'm not really into um, very girly, blingy watches at all. A lot of the stuff that I wear is very like unisex. I, I don't know, I just really like that kind of unisex kind of look when it comes to accessories. And I love this. My boyfriend actually said he really liked it too. And it's just amazing. I love it. It'll go with everything. There's not much you can really say about it. But it's just a really good everyday watch. And you know me. If you follow me on Instagram as well, you know I love marble. And this has marble in the face. So it just adds to my obsession. Another thing you may have heard me talk about if you follow me on Instagram is The Daily Edited. They are a leather accessories company. The first thing that I ever got from them was this pouch in this gorgeous khaki color. And as you can see, it's embossed with my initials MC. I think that's really cool. I don't know why, it just gives it like a special touch, especially if it's going to be a gift to somebody. I think that's such a cool thing to do. But yeah, this was the first item I got. I didn't get this recently. I got it a few months ago. And I have just worn it to death. Whether it's as like a cosmetics bag in my big handbag or whether it's just as a clutch with an outfit for an event because sometimes when I go to events and stuff, you don't want to bring a big bag, you just want to bring your keys, your phone, your lipstick and these are perfect and they look amazing with just jeans and a white shirt and heels. This khaki one looks fab. So of course before fashion week I have to get some more. I also have this beige one as well. This one has silver embossing on it and I love this. Just like the beige shoes that I have, this is going to go with everything. I think I'm going to have to get myself a black one as well because I just love these pouches. This is going to go with everything over fashion week, whether it's casual or dressy. I'm just so excited to wear it and they're really good quality, they're leather and they just look amazing. So if you're into very simple, versatile, chic accessories, you are going to love the Daily Edited. I will leave them linked in the description box below for you to check out. I have another few pieces from them. I also picked up the cosmetics case. So I use this in my big handbag, which I'll show you in a minute, just to pop in stuff like medicine or lip balms or like tampons and stuff, I guess. It's just really good for keeping your bag organized and all these bits and pieces aren't just flying around your handbag and it looks really really nice as well so this was really handy for the plane i kept all my little essentials in here when i was on my way over to new york and i love it you could totally use this as like a pencil case and all that kind of stuff as well i also got the leather passport holder again it has my initials i just really like this again i love black leather and it just makes traveling just that little bit more fashionable I guess. I don't know, I just really like this. And lastly I got this tote bag. This is in a shade called Dove Grey and this basically just holds everything. It's like a bucket. Look at the size of it. I use this as my carry-on luggage on the plane and it just fitted my laptop, my two cameras, my cosmetics case, absolutely everything. Oh my god it was so good and it's really sturdy as well. You feel like it's really going to you know last the journey there's a little detachable bit inside where you can keep stuff too aside from fashion week i feel like i'm going to use this so much whether it's as just a big everyday bag whether it's a gym bag whether it's a weekend bag this is just going to serve so many purposes in my life and this color as well i'm worried that i'm going to get like scratches on it or something but i do feel like it's a really good color choice because it's just going to go with everything when I buy accessories and stuff, I don't really tend to buy crazy colors or patterns or anything like that. I'm a very simple kind of monochrome dresser because I feel like it creates a capsule wardrobe for me. Because I'm not the most fashionable person, if I keep it simple, it, I end up dressing well, if that makes sense at all. I don't have to really think about matching things together. So getting a very plain and just simple and chic colored bag like this just makes life really easy. It's really easy to dress. I just want to collect one of everything. I feel like it's like Pokemon for me now. I just want to collect everything that the Daily Edited has. And lastly, I just wanted to show you some jewellery pieces. 
I'm not a big jewellery person either. I don't tend to be very flashy with my jewellery. I keep it very, very simple and I stick with kind of um, simple gold pieces quite a lot. I have these pieces that I just got from the Dark Horse jewellery. Is it called the Dark Horse jewellery? Yeah, I will link them below anyway. It's called the Dark Horse. Um, they have an Instagram and everything and I'll link it below. So this is the first piece here. It is the play with fire cuff I think it's called it is this beautiful cuff with kind of almost like spikes along the top I'll do a close-up here so that you can see it I love this I feel like it's a real kind of rock chick piece of jewelry and it's still very simple and elegant at the same time I absolutely love it and then similarly to that I don't think I'll wear them together on the same hand if I do wear them together I'll probably wear them on opposite hands or just not together at all I wear, I wear them at different times but I also got the outlaw ring this is called the outlaw ring probably because it's like a knuckle duster so this is a double ring with the same detailing on it it's got that spike detailing on it as well and although it's kind of like knuckle duster fashion I feel like this is super chic I don't know again I always go for that kind of rock chick vibe with my style I absolutely love this ring it is so me. I don't wear a lot of jewellery but I feel like if you have a dress on and you're all done up and you just have one piece of jewellery on like this, that's enough. For me anyway, I just, I like to keep it simple. And if you've got your nails done nice as well, I feel like this just looks boss. I think it looks so cool. And kind of on the opposite end to that, I have these really delicate pieces that I got from 6D The Label. This is their dandelion necklace and it's just got this beautiful delicate chain with this detail on the bottom again it's on my instagram i do have like a close-up picture if you want to check it out on my instagram i will link their website and instagram and everything below as well i love this like simple delicate gold pieces like this with a nice white shirt and jeans it's so my style i just think it's simple and chic and elegant and it's so understated but you still look really put together and it's just so beautiful and I also have the bracelet to match that I can't put it on right now because I need somebody else to put it on for me when I have my nails done but it's just the same kind of detailing this is called the dandelion bracelet and the other one is called the dandelion necklace and I love this again it's simple elegant understated and just really really beautiful I love it so those are all the accessories I have to show you today I hope you enjoyed this kind of different video from me it kind of shows you a little bit more about my personality and kind of who I am I guess as well sometimes with the makeup videos it doesn't really show much of who I am it just shows my makeup style so I'm trying to incorporate some more videos for you guys so you can get to know me a little bit better and I hope you enjoyed this video and that you're looking forward to the clothes version of the haul. I'm a little bit nervous about that one too but let me know what you think of this one and hopefully you will like the clothes one too. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again real soon.